Rupuati is on her way home. She is in an ambulance provided by the government. 24 hours earlier, it took her in the opposite direction to give birth in a clinic under medical supervision. Just two years ago, this journey wouldn't have been possible. There was no ambulance, no clinic, and Rupuati would have been forced to have a baby at home. If something had gone wrong, she would have been in trouble, with little chance of reaching a doctor. The birth went without any problems, and now Rupuati has got a healthy son. Everything went really well. Rupuati was lucky. UNICEF has been piloting solutions to the problem in our home area. Working with the government, it has upgraded our nearest health center so that for the first time, women could safely give birth there. It provided new equipment and hired new nurses. A call center in the district hospital two hours away makes sure that its ambulance reaches women on time and takes them home again. Five years back, the biggest challenge which we had was to reach out to the mothers and children who needed the care the most. And these were the ones who were often missed out. Because the facilities were very far off and few, there was no transport available. Five years back, every second woman was delivering at home. But now, eight out of ten women are delivering at hospital. And this region of Madhya Pradesh has recorded the lowest maternal mortality in the entire state. UNICEF has equipped the district hospital with this special newborn care unit. This boy, one of a pair of twins, has a lung problem. Without this help, he would have found it difficult to breathe. Like many babies here, he is also underweight. According to his grandmother, his mother hasn't been eating properly. I would say, being also a woman, it was frightening. It must have been frightening for all women. Women who are pregnant, women from their families who are trying to support because this lack of services push them all the time to deal with all these health issues on their own. Now I feel that we are able to bring the services and not only services, good quality services close to people's homes, close to women and children that need those services. UNICEF started this work five years ago in only two districts it's proved to be such a success that the Madhya Pradesh government has replicated it elsewhere. Medical facilities have been improved right across the state. We actually drew from the technical expertise of UNICEF and they enabled us to scale up the whole experience of Gunan Shipuri. As of today, we have a near coverage, total coverage of the state for the SNCUs and the call centers and so on. And this has been possible with the technical expertise of the UNICEF and it has been heavily supported in terms of financial assistance which came through from the National Rural Health Mission of the Madhya Pradesh uh, government. The impact has been enormous. Every year half a million pregnant women are using the ambulance service and 50,000 newborn lives are being saved by the special care units. Other Indian states and the central government are now interested in introducing these programs too.